everybody, it's a crazy fan ghost time. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, happy House of the Dragon Day. As usual, we are here to react to the episode. I am joined by the wonderful Tommy. Yay. Yay. <laughs> we were just talking, uh, because again, this is just apologize in advance, because this episode, the reaction may come out just a little later than usual, because oh, today's been so fucking busy from beginning to end. I'm, uh, it's sad. Anyway, um, but yeah, me and Tommy were talking about avoiding spoilers. So Tommy, what were you saying? Oh my God. So I saw a lot of screenshots that made no sense because I just didn't look long enough. <laughs> no time to doom scroll today. Too busy. <laughs> no, I know. That's the same with me. I literally had like two seconds on my phone. I did see like someone write something, but I quickly scrolled away and I was like, no, no spoilers. Enough of that. We are here to watch the episode finally. So let's get into it. Remember as usual to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, but let's just jump into this reaction. The red kraken waits, seeking his best advantage. Though we may draw him in with honey, if it comes to it. An offer of marriage, perhaps, to the Dowager Queen. Out of the question. I'll fly out to meet you when the time is ripe. My uncle is a challenge I welcome. If he dares face me. Ooh. Mother? A word. Oh, fuck. Ooh, damn. This is definitely not Aegon anymore, huh? Mm-hmm. I caution you, Aemond. This Bond is a curtain. Over. You served the realm well. <gasps> the time of need. Aemond. That need is ended. You are no longer obliged. I'm sure, you'll be much pleased to return tomorrow. Domestic pursuits. <gasps> oh, damn! Have the indignities of your childhood not yet sufficiently been avenged? Oh. Aww. The gratitude of the crown. <laughs> she birthed the damn crown. I'd hope so. <laughs> I know. She better have the gratitude of the crown. Twice. Of course, we've said previously that she's not the greatest mother, but still, like, she birthed them. <laughs> Least they can do is give her some respect. Call us. Yes, the hand of the queen! Yay, hello Renee. And the crown prince, sexy motherfucker. And the queen. Another sexy motherfucker. <laughs> I must now proceed as if I stand alone. And I see now that to do that, I need more dragon riders. You are of noble birth. Your grandmother's grandmother, Ariana, was born a Targaryen princess. And I have been thinking, could it be possible to even consider such a thing? I must protest, Your Grace, the risk involved in such a venture. Your Grace honors me beyond what I deserve. Oh, Aww. bless him. Don't be a lot of just yet. I you have to make it out. You have to pass the test. <laughs> to claim a dragon, you yes. must also be Thank prepared you. to die. I was going to be like, girl. I understand the risk, and I accept it with gladness. I swore to ward my queen with all my strength and to give my blood for hers. Oh. Why do I get a bad feeling he's gonna die? Us. Because we've never seen him before. We've seen him a couple. He went with her to, um, what's it called? To King's Landing. When she went to see Alicent. Oh, I actually have. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> this is why you well, have I expect me. the ones that we've seen. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> But the ones we've seen a lot of, I expect them to successfully do it. Yeah, I think so. Oh. <gasps> Alright, you get one more episode of Damon Tripping, and then I'm getting bored of it. I oh, know. Did you say it? The air for a day. <gasps> Viserys! Did you say it? I have only ever defended you. Aww. In everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face! He's right there. Oh, 100%. Decided, don't. To name a new heir. He always protected you. Damon. This man was so precious. He's on it. Oh, look at that. The acting for both of them is just amazing. But yeah, the actor for Viserys. I love him so much. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, that's the diva. 
<laughs> the the queen herself. Literally the demon who's been trending online for the past week. To what end? To mine, perhaps. Oh! Why are they even hiding this dragon? No. Oh. Speak of the devil. There he is. The ghost, the curses, the blasted weirwood bed. I'm done with it. Ah, oh, yes. It is your way, is it not? When something does not please you, you run. Dragonstone, Stepstones, Pentos, Harrenhal. I wake and I do not know where it. She spared it no thought. Well, that's perhaps why your brother gave the crown to her. Perhaps those who strive for it are the least suited to wear it. Don't lecture me! Oh. Tully's wisdom has kept the river houses in line for centuries. They would kill each other to the last man if it were not for their liege lord. That dotard is of no use to us. <laughs> A grover to no use. their lord Pat. Do nothing now. In three days' time, the winds will shift. Oh. Why would I not believe her every time they do a prophecy? Except for the prince that was promised, it comes true. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, pretty boy. Do not show fear. Ribas. He's beautiful. You heard us. See smoke. Oh. Psych! <laughs> okay. So at least one of them's bound to fail. I don't like this guy's odds. I know. See smoke's like, hurry the fuck up, man! I'm getting impatient. Uh oh. oh. Nah, he's had enough. Oh no! That Lord of the Tides you should make? Mm. Yes. I wish you to sail with me. Even Granny Tog gave you a blessing. Oh! Oh! We will say, Osen, there are more experienced men at your service. I was young. I like you. When I took yes, my first command. I choose you. Is this an order or a request? I will expect you to report for your duties on the morrow. It's my lordship commands. Oh, he's elf. Makes you sick, doesn't it? Knowing they're banqueting every night at the castle. While we go without. That can't be true. I should not have spoken so free. The royals would never... Oh, is me she the one who family. does his mummy issues? Yes. King Viserys loved his face. I think Viserys may have and gotten into her ear. If perhaps foreseeable, I myself, if you recall, was in favour of treating with Lord Mutton. Oh God! Shut up, man. His numbers were few, but we may yet retake. Oh! It is my fault. I think that you have forgotten to fear me. Yes, Queen. Let's go. You yes. take none of their shit. Tell you, she's had enough. Let's go. Be a dragon. And who will be so foolish as to try? After hearing what befell Sir Stefan. Oh, Elf! I bet it's Elf. <laughs> that will make it rise the hotter. He cannot destroy his own city. Neither can they overthrow him. Maybe not. But it is harder to wage war abroad when you must also keep peace at home. I like Lady Messaria. If I, I may, Grace. Well. This becomes you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you did well, Bay. I was gonna say, you look so hot, ready or up. I'd support you any day. <laughs> it does occur to me that your grace has yet to name a hand. Sir <laughs> Kristen, of course, served your brother, but you need one who may advance your cause. Oh, uh... again. On the contrary, my prince. I have little patience for the self important Lord Laris, and even less for flatterers and ink spittles. <laughs> I'll make it your responsibility. Oh. <clears throat> My prince, it is an honor I've never considered for I'm myself. Not a service hand, you toad. Perfection. <laughs> Send word to Otto Hyde. Oh! My grandsire may be overcautious, but his devotion to his family has never been in doubt. Damn! I never thought I'd miss Otto fucking I Hightower know. so much. <laughs> Surely he remembers, right? Yeah, what do you remember? 
You challenged me, Lise. It was foolish. I remember nothing. Well, I know it's difficult, but it... Who counted that? Ooh, it might be sheep stealer. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, look at the baby! <laughs> look at the baby dragon! You misled me, my lady. There is a large dragon in the veil. It is large. And formidable. But alas, wild. A merchant cog, the gay abandon, will take you to pass. Ah! <laughs> what a name! Lord Corliss has chosen to raise you up, to serve alongside him, and yet. Oh, he has white hair! Wow! That's why he was covering his head! Provoking me. You saved his life. Brother, do you never think about what could be ours? The Driftwood Throne? We spend the whole of our lives in the shadow of the Sea Snake's great castle. Do not wish to dwell in it any longer. <laughs> the Sea Snake would sooner have High Tide claimed by the sea than call us his sons. Stop wasting your life waiting for Subjectively to incorrect. I oh, know. Literally, he's asking you to be his first mate. That should be the first sign. They say you struck Lord Bartimus today. <laughs> staff and guard. He must see in me a ruler. And the symbols of authority are not jewels and gowns, but the shield and the sword. My ruler is my mother. And I do not wish it otherwise. Mm. I have directed Lord Mooton to march on Rook's Rest and sent another raven to the Vale to persuade. We may marshal the strength of the Vale, Maiden Pool, and all our allies besides. We will still never match the strength of the Green Armies. We need Damon and his dragon. May I be free for even one hour of the constant refrain of Damon, Damon, Damon. Your Grace. Oh, bless her. The Lady Massaria. Ah, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Our gift is sent. What gift? Oh, a gift. Let us hope for clouds over the black water tonight. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. a capsicum. <laughs> what a scene. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's all Alison. Sorry, you're a bit superfluous right now, Alison. I don't know. <laughs> Just being a mummy. Oh, she's biting her nails again. Yeah, her Remember bad. she used to do that? She has an anxiety habit. There has been no word from Sir Otto as of yet. Oh. Oh. At least she's here with him. Mummy. Sorry. Mm. I've heard nothing. But neither have I sent any message. If he wrote letters, it would be to you. I often wonder what life could have been if he had brought you to horse instead. Mm. I'm the eldest son. It was right that I was raised at Old Town. You were eight years of age and motherless. It must have been difficult. That is interesting that he brought Alison instead of him. My son, Daron. What's he like? Aww. Like to you? Aww. Less and less these days. He's stalwart. What does that mean? Clever. As adept with his loot as he is with his sword. I actually don't know what Stalwart is. And a feature <laughs> in the fantasies of many a young lady, I'll wager. Oh, loyal, reliable, and hardworking. Oh, okay. Thank you. Kindness is a quality I found lacking in his brothers. Oh! You did well to say. I was gonna say, she was brought I'm up sure by fucking Otto, of all return. people. She wasn't raised very well by him. Yeah, so I said last time, it's just a generational yeah. trauma. Literally. Unfortunately, you, you can see really it. You don't really win. <laughs> You can see her being a little bit better by being there for Aegon, like I think, especially because she's lost her duties, but then again, it's like, if she didn't lose her duties, she wouldn't be sitting next to him, you know? Again, generational trauma. Oh, Kristen, do you miss your nights with Alison? <laughs> nah, you lost that privilege, mate. Yeah, bye! Get out of here! Bye, Felicia! Oh, Helena! Your Grace. Her and her bugs. We're near a ship's ships. They came ashore in the middle of the night with gifts from the Queen. She thinks of us even now. Oh. Wow. What a shot. Rhaenyra. Oh. Rhaenyra, she thinks of us now. What a lie. Jesus. She absolutely has to buy Miss Arya a beer for this. Yeah. <laughs> Your graces. We must leave. Now. <laughs> 
Oh! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> no! Ah! Oh! oh! Sheath your sword! Oh, great. Now you made it worse. Oh. oh, she's protecting her baby. Yeah, her little girl. Oh, the way she's clutching Allison's skirts. Oh, my God. Yes, you reap what you sow. Not specifically the queens here. Nah, just Eamon. But I'm afraid you will never be whole. My lungs were strong, but my foot was so twisted that my father named it sorcery. Nice, I kind of want you to fuck off. Oh no. But really good performance. They will under oh. Brother. David, she's gone. <laughs> Oh, Emma. You needed me. I'm here now. Aww. The old man. Indeed. Took him so long. I Young know. Oscar Tully, our own healer, Alice Rivers, volunteered her renowned skills. She <laughs> Did she? Did she indeed? Did she? That's why. To be done. Oh. Is that sea smoke? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely sea smoke. Oh, he a pretty boy. Maybe that was the problem with the other guy. He just I wasn't pretty so. enough, and Sea Smoke is uh, <laughs> certainly there for the model. My own son questions my capabilities. He thinks I need Damon at my side. I'll be real, Rhaenyra, you haven't done a lot Damon this so entire he season so far. Suits just Damon. waiting for it to happen. How will I rule a kingdom when my own son doubts me? You have me? No. Truly. It was my father. Oh. Still a child. He had his pleasure with me. Oh. And when after myself, I would never trust another. And that oath has stood me well. You, I think, are steadfast. Because of that, I will serve you. I believe you are meant to be queen. Are we just doing, like, Daenerys part two? Like, how we should have done Daenerys in the first place? I think so. Oh! Oh, that's so sweet! I want a Rhaenyra hug. I know! She seems like... I don't think it is useful. I, <laughs> I, feel like, I think I'll be like, I, I can make good cakes. Can I get a hug for that? You can spread bitchy rumors about the... <laughs> the greens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you and me! Bitch faces, we can do that. Okay, sorry, we're ruining the moment. <laughs> Oh. 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 I. Okay. I did not see this coming, like, even a little bit. But... I sort of saw it in episode three. Okay. I think it was episode three. From what we have heard, he has a rider. Who? Impossible to tell from the ground. The greens? I don't know who else it could be. Shall I summon your council? Oh! Is she finally taking action, Tommy? No, 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 you can sit down. Yeah, Jace, go away for a second. Let Mama go out. Mama Bear needs some time alone. Oh, what a lesbian kiss will do to you, I honestly. Know. Why not? Yeah, she's finally taking action, boys. All righty are. Coolio, that was an interesting episode. Was it really was? There was not a lot of action. No. It did a lot. I think I predicted this last week is that it was very character driven, and had some pretty poignant moments as well. Mm, I think so too. I think it definitely. 
I I think it's definitely building up for the next episode. I think something is going to happen next episode, and um, I think that I think they just wanted to take those two episodes, obviously, to sort of like what's it called, um, like a breathe from after what happened with Aegon and um, with uh, Maelys and Rhaenys. So I think now they're starting to build into another climax in the season, which is nearing the finale. We only have two episodes left, so. I'm hoping they sort of smash out the finale. But anyway, I think let's talk about, I guess, that last scene and what we were talking about in terms of Rhaenyra. Um, Her very much being upset that, I guess, that no... I guess, how how would you say it? Like, there's been not a lot of progress on her her end in terms of the war. Um, I think she's expecting results where it <laughs> nothing can be done like it's sort of like this is why i think jace is like we need daemon because we need a land army yes we have the fleet yes we have a few uh, like one dragon Syraxis, that's like at least a little older than the rest but in a way i feel like when you, what you said was correct like um there is a struggle for her to be an icon on her side because there's not much i guess in terms of progress from the the black side of the war. Yeah, really no. They kind of put all their eggs in that demon basket early on, and that's just not going anywhere. A hundred percent. And I think sort of like, sort of bouncing off what you were saying before in terms of the hallucinations, I think everybody is getting like, come on, we need the build up for like, what's going to happen to Damon with these hallucinations. Um, I definitely feel like we've made progress with that, but just to sort of go off of like, criticism for the writing i think it would have paid off if we had more episodes like whether it was 10 episodes or more episodes i think if we did have a longer season it would definitely have paid off if we were doing this sort of build up with the drama of um these hallucinations like it would have been like okay cool like we have more episodes to sort of explore what's going to happen post him sort of being successful out of his hallucinations but because we only have eight we have very limited time to do that um yeah so that's like so, the, the biggest like let down of the season is that we only have eight episodes well, when we should probably have 10 it would have been better your main characters in the first season were basically just uh Alicent and rhaenyra and damon stole the show but in this <laughs> one he's been completely upstaged by sir simon strong <laughs> Simon Strong is hands down the most interesting part of that storyline. King. And Consort. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. A hundred percent. Oh yeah, it just snarkily tells him, wonder if you're getting enough sleep. <laughs> no, a hundred I completely agree. I think I don't know, it's I do enjoy the hallucinations because I get what they're doing. They're digging into Damon's guilt and into his past because like Rhaenyra said, he's a very hardened man. He's like, you know, he's got a lot of walls up. And he's very hard to deal with because of his, like, anger, like, this built-in anger, very much like Aemond, like, this built-in anger from young age that he holds on to firmly. However, it's slow burning, which is like, come on, just get to the point, like, get us to the point where he is over it, where he accepts it and then moves on. Um, But I did love how it heightened in this episode that we did get to see him sort of, like, progress and that he was, like there for Viserys and then you know he we see him break down I think that was a beautiful moment in the season because we did see that last season you know there is a tight brother sh- brotherhood between him and Viserys but obviously there was still that hatred between them because especially from Damon's side because he wasn't named heir to the throne um so I do like that we had that progress I guess in this episode sorry moving on <laughs> <laughs> um anyway going back to what my main point was originally with Rhaenyra yeah, I think just it's it's hard to be like, yeah, we could definitely do so much more, but we need we need an army, we need more. So, I I think like yeah, I ho- I hope that we progress in the next episode at least in terms of yeah, no, hundred percent. But I I love that um she's no longer taking anyone's shit. No, Rhaenyra. Yeah. It was about time. Just I was wondering him in the face because they're getting so. Like, they are not fearing her anymore, and she realized and gave him a smack. Mm. I think, like, yeah, it's sort of like, again, like that sort of fear element. I think that's why with the Greens, like, you know, we see Aemon on the throne, and everyone's scared of him. It's because, like, they know if they either speak out of line or if they speak against him, nah, they're done for. Like, they're pro- he's probably going to do something. Same with Aegon when he was on the throne. 
with Rhaenyra, it's a bit. I think they take her for granted, sort of like what you were saying. It's because she's a woman, um, and I think you know she was. I think she was sort of hesitant to put her foot down in terms of the reaction, but I think now that she has, she's like, okay, this is how I need to go forward. I need to put my foot down a lot more. And obviously because of that kiss, like you said, nothing like a lesbian kiss to get you going and <laughs> to, yeah. to inspire you. Good. Honestly, good The blokes have just kind of been letting her down in every way. I thought, well, Masaria's actually paying dividends here, so... I know, and Masaria, like, she, look at what she did. She, like, another point that we were going to talk about, which leads perfectly into it anyway, like, the whole rising up and re sort of like the revolt in King's Landing. May I say, that whole scene was absolutely amazing with the boats. Yes. And then the whole, like, all the people, like, throwing shit at Rhaenyra. Not Rhaenyra, and Alison and <laughs> Helena. The fish at the face. <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, but it's so gross. Uh, uh, but still, like absolutely amazing. And again, like that. Again, that just shows. Like I said last week, the power of the people and loss of hope can really, really help turn the tide. So they took advantage of that, which is perfect. Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, that was one of my favorite moments of this episode. Yeah, it's remarkable how good Eamon is at, like, winning shit, all the battles and stuff, and he can't govern for shit, and yeah. that was what Alison was really good at, and he fired her. Yeah, <laughs> essentially! Like, the call out for Otto, and yes. Otto is just kind of ghosting everyone right now, because, like, <laughs> um... <laughs> He's like, I'm not like, dealing I'm with this shit. I'm, of that mess. I'm in my retirement plan now. I have no time for this bullshit. Yeah, like uh, if they invited us back to our old workplace. <laughs> 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 yeah, <good joke. laughs> Agreed. Yes, I agree. I would ghost them to high heaven. Um, I was going to say, even though we did speak about Viserys before, I really liked seeing Paddy back as Viserys. I love him so much. And I was hoping that we would get like a throwback with him. So I was so glad that he was back sitting in the throne, crying his eyes out. Oh, yeah, always. they keep bringing back all the baby actors. I know, because they were so good. They were like, we need to bring them back. The only regret I have about Paddy Constantine's um, Viserys is that he had to die. Literally. Uh, I would have watched I seasons would... of that man. I did like that Laris got uh, shot down after getting his hopes up. Oh, my God. And being called into a... the king. Psych. <laughs> Literally being like, you toad. No, not you. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Otter that was Hightower. my favorite bit. Oh god. And nah. then him being a snake and going to Aegon and being like, oh, like, I understand your pain. Like, this is. Look, I feel bad for the man, but also, like, you're a douchebag. You killed your brother and your father. I have no sympathy for you anymore, bro. Shut up. Love that the moment uh, he can't get anywhere with Aemon, he just goes back to that king. Yep. Um... So, what about Reyna? Raina, yes. So, uh, this is something I wanted to talk about, actually. Thank you for bringing that up. Otherwise, I would have forgotten knowing me. Um, I think it's becoming more evident because there... I'm not sure if you know this, but there was another character in the book that's called Nettles, and they're supposed to be the writer for Sheep Stealer. I think that's the dragon's name. And um, there's no sign of Nettles. So I'm thinking... Instead, Raina is going to get that role in this story. Oh. Maybe. I might be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. I could see that yeah. because she hasn't got a whole else going on over there. Yeah, I know. Because I, I was like, either they're going to actually write her out of the show, which is fair because that's what happens in the books. Like with Raina, you do not see her ever again, basically, in the book. You just know that there's history with her and she's basically the last dragon rider. But with this, I think with the with the show, I think that's what they're gonna do because I think they, I mean, they did this with the kids, Aegon's kids as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they did this with Reyna. So I think we'll be seeing that next episode. I think definitely. Well, we're starting to get bastards on dragons. <laughs> as I said, there were like four bastards that I expected to get a dragon, and one of them's already done it. Yes. Oh, I, oh, sea smoke is so pretty. Sea Smoke was like, like you said, psych, and killed um, Sir Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel yeah. bad for Stefan. Stefan was I'm excited. I'm also an impatient person, so I appreciate what Sea Smoke did there. Like, <laughs> oh my god. He was taking too long. He took like 10 minutes to Shake walk the one step. Your <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Had it off. He was like, fuck you, mate. You're taking too long. Fire. There you go. <laughs> sea Smoke was weird when he was stalking Adam. It almost looked like a game. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think the, yeah, you can definitely see the... the Unfortunately, the VFX did look a little bit cheap, especially when he came over the water. I was like, yes, I can see it. <laughs> All right. I don't know who else I've forgotten to talk about. I'm just having a look. Oh, there's the first mate stuff with Cor Cor Corliss and Alan. Um, I'm hoping to see more progress in that. Sort of like, yeah, it was very interesting to see the dynamic, especially with Alan being so against do it, having anything to do with Cor Corliss, especially even though he saved his own dad and he's like, no, I don't want nothing to do with him. And then Adam, on the other hand, is like, no, but like, think of what we could have. It's like, you know, the opposites of a coin, really. So I'm hoping to see progress on that probably next episode. But I expect shit to go down next episode because I mean, Game of Thrones always did that. The penultimate episode was where all the cool stuff happened. Anyway. Thank you, Shimey. Yes. I had a great time. Thank you, Tommy. Um, so yeah, everybody, if you liked the episode, remember to like the video, obviously. And always, we love having Tommy here. Um, please remember to subscribe, as usual. And yeah, uh, looking forward to next week's episode. So yeah, catch you guys soon. Crazy Fango out. <laughs>